Hello everybody! Sam time. is just opening the sunroof as we speak. Welcome to the Lindos Vlogs! So we are, well, Rhodes Vlogs. So we are in Rhodes, it is our first night and we are just heading into Lindos now. I'm so excited to see it, it looks so, so beautiful. So many of you guys recommended Lindos to us. So super excited to get in and have a little look and I will obviously show you guys. It's been so long since I've done a travel vlog so I'm really excited to be back with it. Um, and I'll show you the hotel we're staying in and everything like that too, but let's go. So we've just arrived in Lindos and just parked up and now we are heading into the town. don't really know where we're going, but we'll work it out. I'm wearing, oh my god, this sunburn is not the one. <laughs> I'm wearing my daily sleeper dress, which is great on the bum. Got little Zara sandals on, my Monica Vanilla necklace, Daisy London name necklace, and my little vintage Louis Vuitton bag. But it's very, very quiet, which to be fair, our hotel is very quiet as well. So yeah, I think it's just like the start of the season really here. But, yeah, try and show you around as much as I can. Look at all this like rugged <laughs> coastline. And there's a beach down there and a restaurant down there that we're going to head to tomorrow. This is Sam's outfit. His t shirt is Axel Arigato. Uh, trousers are Uniglo. What back he's on? Wow, it is literally, oh. I know, such a beautiful door. It is literally so, so quiet. It's so peaceful, it's stunning. Here we go, it's a little bit more lively here. This looks cool. So, so nice. Just come across this beautiful little wine bar. This is what it's called. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. We're gonna try this place for dinner, we think. Cesar, maybe? <laughs> I think it might be this way. Guys, this is the most beautiful view ever. Hang on, I'm going to stand up. <laughs> it's literally stunning. I can't get over how beautiful it is. And then this is the restaurant here. Oh, it's gorgeous. We just ordered and as it gets darker, it's just so stunning. Oh, I love it here so much. So I have the chicken with the roasted gnocchi. Are these like roasted lettuce? Yeah. Or is it artichoke? No, it's roasted lettuce. Is it? Yeah. And then we have, I don't even know what these are, but they look divine. Yeah, we're fighting over who's they are. And then Sam's got a fillet steak, which looks incredible. So, so nice. It's still looking so beautiful out here. Hey everyone, so it's the next morning and we have just got ready to head down to a beach club, actually where we went yesterday, um, but yeah. So this is my outfit, I have an Oleada shirt on, I've got my Hansaji bikini and then these Topshop linen trousers. And yeah, that's the look. I've also just realised I haven't shown you the room yet. This is our little balcony, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's so, so nice. Honestly stunning, you can just see the sea through there. But yeah, it's so nice having this pool, not that we've actually used it yet. And then we've got these sunbeds here and then a little seating area here. Sorry, please excuse Sam's clothes. <laughs> and then this is the little lounge area that we have, which is so, so gorgeous. I think this is a premium Zen suite, I believe it's called, at Aquaterra Resort. And then coming over here, just have like all of my clothes and stuff up here. The bedroom is in here, sorry it's such a mess because <laughs> we've just been like getting everything sorted. But bedroom here and it's actually got another little terrace out here as well. So that's nice. And then this is the bathroom again, it's a little bit messy. But yeah, and then there's a shower around there. And I've just chucked on this lack of colour hat. So let's go so we're just here at tambecchio which is the restaurant on the beach and our food has just arrived sorry i've been a really awful vlogger haven't really shown you anything but this is the beach sam you can eat now it's fine <laughs> he's waiting for me this is the beach here at st paul's bay and then these are all the beds there we've got a bed just over there and the water is just so beautiful and clear and then yeah we've got a little table over here and then there's like all this restaurant up there but it's really really lovely here so so nice so i'm gonna tuck in now 
both having a little creme brulee for our dessert. It's been so nice. The food is delicious. So sorry about the fact that I actually look naked right now. <laughs> I'm strapping this bikini on. But the uh, beach overlooks this little chapel, and it looks like they're setting up a wedding. Um, and I think like the guests and stuff are arriving, so I'm hoping we're going to see a bride soon. Thank you. Here's the chapel up here. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit more. Yeah, you can see there's like guests sitting down and stuff. Oh, I'm excited. It looks so beautiful. There's the bride coming down. She's actually walking so far. She must be absolutely roasting. Look, there she goes. Oh, it's so nice. Also, how cute is this dog on the paddleboard? <laughs> on another note. So it is a bit later now and I have just woken up from a nap and had a shower and I'm just about to do my makeup. So we are heading back into Lindos tonight. We're going to a restaurant called Utopia, which I actually booked, but to be honest, Lindos is so quiet at the moment that I don't really think that was necessary, but oh well, at least it's booked. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really nice. It looks quite similar to last night's vibe, like rooftop kind of vibes. I'm definitely finding it really hard to vlog and do stuff on my phone at the same time. And I've always found that difficult, but like obviously more recently, video content is such a big thing. And so yeah, it's hard for me to get video content on here and video content on my phone. <laughs> so I hope I'm doing all right. But yeah, really looking forward to dinner. And we're just gonna go into Lindos a little bit earlier than we did yesterday, because we kind of went as the sun was setting yesterday. So it was a little bit dark, uh, but we're gonna go in a little bit earlier so that we can we can actually explore more. So yeah, we're staying at Aquaterra in Lindos, which is a really, really nice hotel. Like the service is brilliant. We had a couple issues at the beginning, just like little hiccupy things, like we had no hot water in our room and like, things like that and they resolved them so so quickly and I always think that's a sign of a good hotel is like how they manage any issues that like arise do you know what I mean so yeah really really good hotel it's really aesthetic it's got lovely lovely decor it's quite a small hotel I think there's only about like 30 rooms maybe and it's on a beach the beach isn't maybe like the nicest beach I wouldn't say but it's um it's still like a nice enough beach it's just pebbly um but yeah i'd say it's a really really nice hotel but i would say i don't think we're only staying here for six nights i don't think i could do much longer here because there's not loads around and like when we go to lindos and stuff we have to drive which is fine because obviously we've, we've got a car but if you're not renting a car it might be a little bit annoying i think i would rather maybe stay somewhere that was more walking distance i did actually consider staying in lindos itself like the town but sam really likes to stay near a beach so that is why we chose here. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really beautiful hotel. It's very, very peaceful as well, very quiet. Like we've barely seen anyone, but I don't know if that's just because of the time of year, do you know what I mean? But yeah, so far, really, really loving it. And the food at this hotel, oh my goodness. Breakfast isn't great, I wouldn't say actually. Like the buffet selection isn't very good and then you have to pay extra if you want like, you know like an omelette or like eggs benedict or whatever um and the buffet yeah i don't i personally don't think the buffet is very good but the lunch we had yesterday oh my god it was so so good and they have the restaurant open at night as well and it looks really really lovely on the evening it's a lovely restaurant like the decor is so nice they have like a big pizza oven and yeah, I'd say it'd be a really, really nice restaurant to go to in the evening. And there's also a supermarket attached to the hotel, which is so handy. We've been in there most days, like just to buy bottles of water and crisps and snacks and things like that. And like Sam bought some goggles in there, just anything that you need. It's just so useful to be able to have that at a hotel. So I think that's definitely a plus of the hotel, 100%. The only other thing I'd say is we have the <coughs> the private pool room the like premium suite i think it's called with the private pool i think there's about five of them 
the one we have is right next to a generator <laughs> so it's quite noisy I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear it in this video but in general it is quite noisy by our room which is kind of annoying but I understand there's not really a lot they can do about that to be honest yeah all in all I think it's a good hotel I've heard the massages are really good as well so I'd like to book a massage in before we leave too right I think I'm going to get on with this and stop blabbing now because otherwise I'm not going to be ready in time and like I said, I really want to get to Lindos before it gets too late and dark. So I'd like to wander around the streets. Lindos is really, really pretty. Uh, this is my first time in Lindos and it's really pretty. It does have quite a few kind of like tacky souvenir -y shops, like touristy vibes, but it does also have some really nice little streets with like little cute independent Kind of boutique looking shops. I'd say it's quite similar to Milos in the sense that it has, well I'd say quite similar to like a lot of Greek islands where it has very narrow like windy kind of streets and it's a little bit like a maze. Milos definitely had that but I'd say Milos is slightly prettier like it, it has more, I don't know, I don't how to explain it. Lindos is really really pretty but yeah I definitely think Milos is prettier. Um, but yeah we really really like it and it's such a lovely temperature here on an evening. Like, I feel like if we were in Spain or somewhere like that now, you'd need a jacket or a jumper on an evening, but you really don't need one here, which is so nice. Honestly, like we sat outside all yesterday and it was just beautiful. And the temperature during the day is about 26, 27, 28. So it's really, really nice, really, really nice temperature. Okay, so my makeup is done. Just gone super subtle, chilled vibes, nice and glowy. And now I'm gonna work out what to wear. We also just took some little pictures. Hang on, let me show you. Just took a little Polaroid. Oh, hang on, you can see it, but ever. Yeah, for the mems. So this is the outfit that I've gone for tonight. It's from Reclaim Vintage on ASOS. But yeah, I think it's quite cute and it's got like a open back as well. So yeah. A little bit dark now, but this is the entrance to our hotel and then this is the restaurant just through here. I'm trying to show you it a little bit better. Here's the restaurant there. So really, really nice. And then the pool is just beyond that. And then this is the beach over there. So yeah, it's a nice view, definitely. But yeah, a little bit pebbly. And here's the supermarket, which, as I said earlier, is super handy. And here's my full outfit. And we're just gonna pop into Lindos now, have a little wonder. I'd show you Sam's outfit because he looks super cool. This is his outfit, turn around and show us. Oh, like turn around and show us, I like it. Come on, turn around. Look at this. Is it all Zara? Is it all Zara? No. Where, where are they from? These are from Oipaloi. Oh, okay, it's a shop in Manchester that's closed down now. ASOS. ASOS vest, oh, Zara. Zara shirt. Yeah. Vajas, lovely stuff. Are we going this way? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so we've just come up to Utopia and I wanted to show you. Is it called Utopia? No, it's definitely not. It's called something else, but I can't remember now. <laughs> Odyssea, there we go. But yeah, look at this view. You get the view of the Acropolis. It's so, so gorgeous. So lovely. We're sitting down there, but I wanted to show you. And then this is the courtyard down here. And then that is our table there. Mussels for Sam and a load of breads and hummus. For Sam. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Stunning. Food has just arrived. I went for the lamb and Sam has squid ink risotto. So, so nice. We are just running out the door and Sam's waiting for me. But I just want to show you my outfit really quick. Got a Zara white linen shirt on, Hansa G bikini, my bucket hat and my Luebe basket bag. Okay, let's go. So we are off into Lindos to go and rent a boat. So I'm not entirely sure on how it works, but I think from the main beach in Lindos, you can rent a uh, little kind of really, really small boats that you can drive yourself. You don't need a skipper, even if you don't have like a license and stuff. So we're gonna head there now and have a little, have a little look and see what the situation is. So I'm just grabbing the towels. Um, but yeah, it should be really good, looking forward to it. Sure, if I've shown you the outside of our room, 
Oh, sorry. sorry, I wasn't showing you. But this is what the outside of our room looks like. Sorry, there's like a really noisy bus going past, but yeah, gorgeous. So, so, so nice. And there actually hasn't been anyone staying in that room, so it's been very, very quiet. But yeah, we gotta go now. Sam is ripping the Oleada tote bag. We are just walking to the beach now. It's a little bit of a walk, to be honest, but I think we might have been able to park a little bit further down, but it was a bit stressful. <laughs> it was very tight with lots of cars and we just saw a space, so we just grabbed it. But you can kind of see the uh, castle and the amphitheater a little bit better here. But yeah, we're just walking down now. The beach is like over that way. So yeah, my legs are killing me. <laughs> and I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing or whether it's a, because we've been doing quite a lot of walking and I generally haven't really done a lot of exercise recently. Probably that. Wow, this is quite a long walk, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God. There we go. Can you see the sea? We've just got to the beach. There is so much going on here. It's definitely a little bit different to the beach we were at yesterday. But there's loads of restaurants and stuff like that. And there's also like boats, paddle boards, pedalos, all that jazz. We're hoping to rent one of these ones. Sam's just inquiring. The water here is so clear. So it turns out we can't rent this one because <laughs> you need a license for that one because it's um, big horsepower. But this one coming in here, we can rent. So we have our boat. Sam's driving it currently. I am the captain now. <laughs> Look how clear and blue the water is. It's so nice. Sorry, I don't know how well you can hear me because of the engine. <laughs> but off we go. <laughs> this is nice. So nice. Yeah? Yeah. You got your license. Hey guys, so it is the evening. It's quite a bit later actually because we got back from the boat quite late. Uh, but we're just heading out for some dinner now. But it's dark outside so the lighting's not great. But this is the dress that I'm wearing. It's actually an old one from Abercrombie but fits really nicely on the bump. So yeah, I've got like really minimal makeup on because my eyes are really stinging at the minute. So I just thought I'll just keep it minimal and not put too much on. And yeah, we're just going to head into Lindos again. So we've just come to Dionysus. Here's the menu here. It is a little bit windy up here, but you can probably hear that now. <laughs> but it's really, really nice. So we have some grilled veg with halloumi. And then this is prawn saganaki, which is basically prawns and feta in like a tomato sauce. All right, you can dig in now. <laughs> Sam went out to buy me a pashmina because <laughs> I was really cold. Well. <laughs> you did do well. I was wondering what he was going to come back with. <laughs> Sam has ordered the mixed grill. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> it's actually massive. massive. It's got like chips, pita, lobster. And we just had a main as a start. And I got the carbonara. And now Sam has got this, which is a milfoy. Never had one before. Enjoy, honey. <laughs> oh, that was a good crunch. <laughs> hey guys. So I think this, sorry, I'm just trying to walk down the stairs without tripping on my skirt. I think this might be the first time that I've spoken to you today. We've had a really, really chill day, just chilling by our pool, with a little private pool, which is so nice. So yeah, we've just been chilling by the pool and now we are heading off to um, a restaurant called Katima. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Sorry, it's super windy. Um, We're not actually sure where it is, are we? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But it's actually a wedding venue. Right, I just thought I'd vlog once I'm actually in the car because it's quite windy. But yeah, we're heading to a restaurant called Katima, which is actually a wedding venue. Uh, but lots of people recommended that we go. So we are heading there now and I will show you when we get there. So we've just arrived. It is absolutely stunning. I can see why people get married here. It's very windy, <laughs> I will say. But it's, yeah, pretty gorgeous. It's like this beautiful little chapel here. And yeah, it's gorgeous. There's a pool. Yeah, we're one of the only people here at the minute. But yeah, it's a stunning, stunning venue.
so we are home from dinner now it was so so lovely at that restaurant slash venue um i can definitely see why a lot of people get married there but it was very windy <laughs> like very very windy and very chilly up there so we've literally come back got into bed and we've ordered some dessert on room service so i've got a pavlova and sam wanted a pavlova too but there was only one left so he has been very kind and he has got what have you got the lime tar bloody tar <laughs> So we're just gonna eat this and then chill out. Probably get a bit of an early night. Good morning guys, it's the next day now and we are just about to head into Lindos for a little spot of breakfast. Um, we were thinking about going up to the Acropolis but to be honest, it's like a 30 minute walk and the heat and everything like that, I don't think I'm gonna manage it very well. So yeah, we're just gonna go into Lindos for some brekkie and then come back here and chill and I want to show what I'm wearing. So this is my free people dress. It's honestly the softest, most comfiest thing ever. Then I just have my Takis flip flops on. So we've just come to Melia and we've come up to the roof terrace and there's literally no one here. It's like a little private breakfast. It's quite busy downstairs, but yeah, nobody up here on the terrace. I'm gonna try and hang on, pan back and show you. It's absolutely stunning. And the view is just incredible. So that's just, you go like over here, you get the view of the sea as well. It's so, so gorge. Love it. So we actually left that Melia cafe because they just didn't really have like anything on their menu in stock and the service was being really, really slow and stuff. So we left there and we came for a little wonder. We were trying to find somewhere else, but we couldn't find it. And in the end, we found this other little cafe called Rainbird and it's got this beautiful view of um, the beach. So I'm gonna show you it, it's so stunning. So this is the view that we've got while we're eating. And there's literally like nobody else here. I like that to focus. But yeah, it's this very really cute little cafe like with no one here. With this stunning view. So it's a happy, a happy um, accident really, because we were looking for somewhere else. We've got a fresh lemonade. Sam has a Fredo espresso. Basically like an iced coffee, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, I think it's just like double espresso and then some milk. Right. Nice. And then um, an orange juice. And honestly, what a view. So we are back from Lindos. We've just been chilling out by our pool for a little bit, which has just been so, so nice. And now we are gonna head for some lunch. So I thought I'd show you my outfit. So I have this Zara dress on. It's actually really similar to the dress that they did last year, but it's like more of a crinkly fabric. And I sized up just to help the bump. And then I have sand linen shirt on. This is an Abercrombie one. I have my lack of color hat, which I love. Just my Ray-Bans, um, and then bag-wise, I'm gonna take this COS straw bag. And that's the look. So I feel like all I've done today is just tell you what we're doing and then not actually show you anything. We went out for lunch earlier. It has been so windy today, which has been a little bit annoying, um, but at least it's not raining. So, you know, can't complain. Just got myself ready in like my warmest outfit. I've got this like crochet top on from H&M and a little skirt, you can't really see very well. A little skirt there, tied my hair back because of the wind. And we are heading to a restaurant called Broccolino tonight, which is an Italian restaurant and lots of people recommended it to us. So I'm looking forward to it actually. Really looking forward to some good like pasta it's and Italian. The bruschetta and stuff apparently it's really good i'm saying that wrong i know it's bruschetta isn't it is it bruschetta oh, bruschetta i think it's bruschetta um but yeah so this is actually our last night in lindos we are leaving this hotel tomorrow morning and heading to another one in a slightly different area so yeah i'm looking forward to it actually i feel like we've had a really good amount of time here and there are definitely much like loads more restaurants that we could eat at here like i think lindos has such a good selection of restaurants and there's a couple more like further in the other village called Pefkos, which a few people recommended to me as well. I'll share all my recommendations on Instagram. Just thought I would quickly show you my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> just <did> Maybe Sam <laughs> can film it. So this is my H&M yeah, top. Yeah. I'm gonna have a skirt from Stradivarius, Cos Clutch, and then these shoes are from Ancient Creek. And that's the look. So we are now at Casa Cook in Rhodes, which is basically just like about 30 minutes more north from our last hotel. Oh, it's absolutely stunning here, honestly. 
blown away by how beautiful it is. I can't wait to show you the room. I'm going to show you that in a second. But first, I thought I would show you my outfit. So I have these mango striped kind of crochet trousers on and they're great. I've got them in a large and I can wear them kind of over the bump like this, but I can also wear them underneath the bump if I want to. Uh, and then I have my Oleada white linen shirt on, black, <laughs> black bikini from weekday. I have my Takis flip flops on and then my hat is Topshop and Sunny's Art Ray-Ban. And that's the look. So yeah, I'm going to show you around the room now and then I think we're just going to get unpacked and start our second part of the trip it's actually so nice switching hotels because it really although it was a pain obviously to pack up all our stuff and everything like that it really feels like we're gonna start like another holiday now do you know what i mean so i mean sam was saying we were like kind of ready to leave the last hotel but we weren't ready to go home so it's just quite nice really in that way um what do you think of it sam where is he are you there <laughs> what do you think of the hotel yeah, it's, it's so right. nice isn't it yeah, it's literally gorgeous mm -hmm. Oh, you turned the thing off. Yeah, it was really noisy. What's that in the Um, I think it's just the drain, isn't it? Anyway, I'm showing you too much before I've given you, given you the tour, so let's do that now. Okay, so I'll give you a little room tour. So this is what the room looks like as we go in. We have the shower in here. I've just got all our luggage in here at the minute. The toilet's in there. Sam's currently in there. Um, and then pan around, and this is like the main... Oh, the main living space and this is the bed oh it's absolutely stunning it's beautiful this gorgeous big mirror hey uh, we've got a tv over there a little sofa i'll go outside in a second mini bar all of that kind of stuff and then we have the sink oh my god is this not the most beautiful sink you've ever seen oh it's stunning big mirror and then in here is the wardrobes and then if we go out here this is our own little private pool i say little it's actually massive <laughs> private pool and jacuzzi as well oh my god it's incredible and look at that view have you ever seen anything more stunning wow we've got our sun loungers we've got a little seating area here to chill out in oh my god it's just beautiful absolutely gorgeous so so stunning and then yeah this is back to the room it's honestly like oh, i just love all the decor it's so so nice so nice and then out here it's like it's the rest of the hotel really oh my god it's so gorgeous we're just mid unpacking and we bought this rubber ring in the shop and it's so funny Sam just got it out and he was because it's got lemons on it so I was like this smells like lemons and I was like what and I smelt it and it literally does smell like lemons and then I went on the thing and it's scented how unreal because <laughs> they normally smell horrible as well <laughs> it's gonna take you a bit of time <laughs> so we have spent the day chilling by our pool which has just been so so lovely really really relaxed i finished my book i was reading carrie soto is back it's really really good really recommend it um it's about tennis but you don't have to like tennis to like the book kind of thing um i'd say like i enjoy watching wimbledon but I'm not really like a massive tennis fan uh, and i really really enjoyed it so yes anyway we are heading out for some dinner we're just going to go to the hotel restaurant because i'm just a bit tired from like all the maneuvering around today and just feel like it'd be nice to check the hotel restaurant out and then we'll probably go into like roads town and stuff tomorrow and yeah that's the plan outfit wise i have this dress on from asos i think you guys will have seen it in a couple of vlogs back and then jewelry wise i have these earrings which are also from asos and then my necklaces are both from Alighieri. rings this one is monica vinida and then the ones on this hand that one is monica vinida and this one is saru i don't know how well you're going to be able to see is it going to focus there we go now you can see so yeah that's my outfit and then shoes i have these heels on which are from letter porter i can't remember the brand but i love them they're so so nice they're so comfy as well uh, i actually have them in gold too but yeah this is the outfit and that is literally all the footage that i got i mean we've been mostly just chilling out at this hotel to be honest there hasn't been loads to show you we've had a really really lovely time here uh i'm gonna do a full review over on instagram so head over there if you want to see i also have a highlight over on instagram of like all of my lindos recommendations we've kind of we did go into Rhodes old town one night but we just way preferred lindos 
has a much less touristy feel to it and yeah it was just more I don't know just more like what we kind of like on holiday kind of thing so yeah we've kind of just been going back into Lindos for dinners and stuff so it's about half an hour away from Lindos so it's not too bad um but yeah anyway I'm gonna finish the vlog here I hope you enjoyed it sorry if it wasn't much good I have no idea what the footage is like because it's just so hard to film across different like platforms and stuff like that but anyway I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon in my next video bye